Hey, it's Monica Harker, and I'm so excited to share some of our newest nonfiction titles with you. First off, our two new additions to our Shine a Light collection. These are our flashlight books. So here's Human Body, our new favorite. So when you read these, they're a great um, nonfiction book, um, and it teaches you about our different body systems. So here we're just talking about the digestive system. It talks, so it says, where does food go after it's been swallowed? Then you put a flashlight behind the page, and you can see... It illuminates and shows you where it's gone, and then you learn about it on the next page. Then this one says, eating lots of healthy foods helps us to body stay well. What's inside the basket? And you can see the food in the basket when you shine a flashlight behind. So, so many great topics, so many things you can learn here. So this is human body. We also have animal camouflage is another new one. And this there, there are 11 in this series now. So we have everything on the plane, on the train, um, seashore, apple tree, vegetable garden, so many. Uh, another great one is space station. Here's another great one I'm so excited about. This is the See Inside series. So it's See Inside the World of Shakespeare. This has so many flaps. When I got this, I seriously sat here and just opened all of them and read about them because I love Shakespeare. So this is a great way to introduce your littles to Shakespeare before they get into high school and, f and think um, that it's hard, you know, that the language is hard for them. So this introduces all of Shakespeare's works and history about him and takes you through London, shows you in London during his time and this is my favorite page because I've been here this is the Globe Theater where a lot of his plays were performed it teaches you inside about the different areas that different classes of people could sit and just so much good good history about this and as it goes through it teaches you about his um, the royal performances and where they would do it and then it just goes through a lot of his different works it talks about his comedies it talks about his tragedies talks about his um, romances, just what such a fantastic, fantastic resource to teach your kids about Shakespeare. I'm going to love reading this with my kids. I already read through the whole thing myself. Um, this is our newest look inside. It's look inside how computers work. So it has a ton of flaps. Osborne's so good with their flaps. With so many things you can learn, everybody can learn, and then check this out. Do, 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 do. Flap down, and even flaps inside here. So these kids... All these kids are going to be growing up with computers in their lives and in their schools. They're going to know everything. So Look Inside is the youngest one. Look Inside series is, you know, two and three and above. And then we have our, this is the next one and for, for our computers ones. This is Lift the Flap Computers and Coding. And then the next one above that would be um, our new release from January. And it teaches, start teaching the kids about Scratch and how to code and program in Scratch. So those are some of our fun new nonfiction. There's a lot more for you to look out that I want you to go and see after here. Um, our Lift the Flap Fractions and Decimals are going to teach your littles a lot about math, especially if they're more of a visual learner. It can help them with their math. We have a classical music reference book that I'm very excited about. A weather picture book set for little kids as they learn weather, you know, in circle time um, in elementary school or at home with you. We have a great book about um, Amelia Earhart. It's called Amelia Who Could Fly and it just talks about her journey. It's actually a storybook so it'd be a very fun um, read for you to read with your children and also teach them a lot too. We have questions and answers about time and a new questions and answers about space and in that series both of us have lots of flaps and, flaps and just answer a ton of questions and um, pretty much all of these I think I'm going to win Jeopardy now someday because I learned so much from them.